Hello everyone. I am Dr. Prerna N. Bhaktik, Assistant Professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. Today, our discussion topic is Natural Resources. In this, we are going to cover Forest Resources. This topic is covered under BSc Hospitality Studies, Second Year, Course code is HS307, Environment Science 1, Chapter 2, Natural Resources. Course outcome are aim to establish the importance of environmental issues, provide insight on environment management in hospitality industry, understand the benefits of eco-friendly practices to have a sustainable environment in daily operations of a tent. Learning outcome are Understand the concept of natural resources. Know about associate problems with natural resources. And learn about conservation steps towards forest natural resources. Let's understand what is natural resources. Resources obtained from nature, that is from the earth, are called natural resources. These resources occur naturally. The raw material used in artificial or man-made resources are natural resources. Natural resources are classified as renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources that can be used without any risk of its ending up are called renewable resources. For example, sun, water, wind, biomass, tides, geothermal energy, etc. These are never ending resources which are available on in our environment. They are having an infinite resource or source of energy. Opposite, that is a non-renewable resources that cannot be replenished after their depletion. For example, fossil fuel, coal, petrol and natural gases are considered as non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources take billions of years for their formation. Hence, their cautious and economic use is the only option left behind for mankind. In today's session, we are going to discuss about problem associated with forest resources such as use and over exploitation, deforestation, timber extraction, mining and its effect on forest, dam and their effect on forest and tribal people. Before understanding the different problem, let us first of all see the function of forest. Forest resources play an important role in the economy of any country. It is highly complex, changing environment made up of living and non-living things. Forests vary a great deal in composition and density and are distinct from meadow and pastures. Forests provide fuel, wood, timber, wildlife habitat, industrial forest, products, climate regulations, medicinal plants, etc. Besides this, forests also perform very important function both to human and to the nature. They are habitants to millions of pla plants, animals and wildlife. They recycle rainwater. They remove pollutant from air. They control water quality. They moderate temperature and weather. They influence soil condition and prevent soil erosion. From this function, we can easily understand the importance of forest in our life. Let's have a look on direct benefits from forest. Fuel 
wood. Wood is used as a source of energy for cooking purpose and for keeping warm. Timber. Wood is used for making furniture, tool hand, railway sleepers, matches, bridges, boats, etc. Bamboos. These are used for matching, flooring, basket, rope, rafts, coats, etc. Food Fruit, leaves, roots and tuber of the plant and meat of the forest animal form the food of the forest tribe. Forest is also very important as far as agriculture purpose and for the other recreational activities also. Farmer use forest for doing beekeeping, bamboo mats and basket making provide small scale industry to the tribal people. Forest is also provide raw material for pulp and plywood industry. More direct benefits from forest are shelter Hormoses, corn, insects, birds, reptiles, mammals and microorganisms are provided shelter by forest. Many herbivores find shelter and carnivores find their hunting in the forest. Paper, wood and bamboo pulp are used for manufacturing paper, newsprint, stationery, packing paper, sanitary paper. Rayon. Bamboo and wood are used in the manufacture of rayon, yarn, artificial silk, fiber. Forest product, tannin, gums, drugs, species, insecticides, wax, honey, horn, musk, ivory, hides, etc. All are provided by the flora and fauna of the forest. There are so many medicinal usage of forest. The indirect benefits from forest are conservation of soil. Forest prevents soil erosion by binding the soil with the network of roots of the different plants and reduce the velocity of wind and rain which are the chief agent causing erosion. Soil improvement The fertility of the soil increase due to the human which is formed by the decay of the forest litter. Reduction of atmospheric pollution by using up carbon dioxide and giving off oxygen during the process of photosynthesis, forest reduce pollution and purify the environment. Control of climate Transpiration of plant increase the atmospheric humidity which affects rainfall and cool the temperature. Control of water flow In the forest, the thick layer of humus act like a big sponge and soak rainwater preventing runoff thereby preventing flash floods humus prevents quick evaporation of water thereby ensuring a supply of water to streams springs and well recreation and tourism so many recreation and tourism activities are happening because of the forest, such as forest tourism, agriculture tourism, etc. Which attract most of the tourist people, environmentalist, activist, so that they can do their research study on basis on the forest and they can enjoy the nature, natural beauty of the forest. In India, the minimum area of forest required to maintain good ecological balance is about 33% of total area. 
but at present it is only 12%. So over exploitation of forest material occurs. Due to over exploitation and overpopulation there is an increased demand for medicine, shelter, wood and fuel. Hence exploitation of forest material is going on increasing increasing agriculture products increasing agriculture activities increase in demand of food resources these are the main reason for over exploitation of forest deforestation nowadays deforestation is a very common term between us Let's see what is this. Deforestation is a process of removal of forest resources due to natural or man-made activities that is destruction of forest. Causes of deforestation. First, developmental project. Developmental project cause deforestation through different ways such as through submergence of forest area or destruction of forest area by constructing big dams hydroelectric projects road constructions etc destruction of forest area mining operations it reduced forest area for example mica coal magnesium magnesium and limestone are extracted from the forest raw material for industry wood is an important raw material for various purposes example making boxes furniture and paper etc so deforestation happening again and again for making or for getting raw material for industry fuel requirement wood is the important fuel for rural and tribal population there most of the activities depend upon the fuel requirement which is gathered from the forest cutting shifting cultivation replacement of natural forest ecosystem for mono specific tree plantation example tickwood forest fire forest fire destruct thousands of acres of forest overgrazing Overgrazing by cattle reduce the cultivation land. These are the different causes of deforestation. Let's see how the deforestation impact on on our life. Economic loss, loss of biodiversity, destruction of the habitat of various species, reduction in stream flow. increase the rate of global warming destruction of weather pattern and global climate degradation of soil and acceleration of rate of soil erosion induce and accelerate mass movement or landslides increase flood frequency magnitude break the water cycle break the nutrient cycle Deforestation in Himalaya region involve cleaning of natural forest and plantation of monoculture like eucalyptus and the result we are facing right now that the nutrients in the soil is very poor therefore soil losing their fertility Himalayan area facing the serious problem of desertification effects of timber extraction major activities are taken under timber extraction wood used for engineering purpose like building houses making furnitures are made up of timber the product derived from timber have been important to many civilization and thus it has acquired value within this civilization Timber extraction result in deforestation and in the fragmentation of last remaining forest. 
it harm valuable species of trees birds and wild animal in spite of this it is sometime necessary to extract timber so as to meet the need of developing country during the extraction of timber cutting filling and handling should be done selectively carefully and in planned manner in order to save remaining forest and biodiversity let's see what are the effects on timber extraction poor lodging results in degraded forest floods may be in intensified by cutting of trees or upstream water trees loss of biodiversity climate change such as less rain never lodging road permits shifting cultivators to gain access to lodge area and cutting the remaining trees exploitation of tribal people by the contractor effects of dam on forests today there are more than 45000 large dam around the world which play an important role in communities and economy that harness this water resource for their economic development current i estimated suggest some 30 40% of irrigated land worldwide relies on dam dams are considered a temple of modern india dams disrupt vast area of forest land effects of dam on forest are thousands of hectares of forest will be cleared cleaning of wild animal and destruction of aquatic life spreading of water borne diseases water lodging increase the salinity of the soil for example narmada sagar project it has submerged 3.5 lakh hectares of forest from the figure we can think that so many land and so many hectares of forest are cutting down for the construction of big dam effects of dam on tribal people construction of big dam leads to displacement of tribal people they have to relocate themselves from their actual place of habitat displacement and cultural change affects the tribal people both mentally and physically their life is totally imbalanced and because of that they face mental and physical changes in their life they do not accommodate the modern food habitat habit and lifestyle it is very difficult for them to adapt the modern food practices or habits and the modern lifestyle tribal people are illiterate ill treated by modern society because they are tribal people so the modern society always ill treated them and they not easily adapt themselves in the modern living society many of the displaced people were not recognized and resettled or compensated they body condition of tribal people will not suit with new area and hence they will be affected by many diseases for example sardar sarovar project in india which is located in gujarat and this dam is developed on narmada river has displaced thousand of tribal folk whose lives and livelihoods were linked to the river the forest and their agriculture land while they and the fishermen they have to relocate themselves they lost their homeland rich farmer downstream and they lost their agriculture area as well the only question arise in front of them that why should the local tribal be made homeless displaced and relocate to benefit other people why should the less fortunate be made 
to be bear the cost of development for better of farmers it is a question of social and economical equality as well as anonymous environmental losses including loss of biological diversity of the inundated forest in the narmada valley what we can do as an individual to prevent or to conserve forest resources forest providers with invaluable products and services forests are facing rapid and uncontrolled destruction all over the world with serious consequences for the environment and the local community forest both influence are by climate changes in order to conserve forest we have to plant new trees more or less of the same variety should be planted to replace the tree cut down use of wood for fuel should be discouraged put public interest and involvement of local people for forest conservation apply sfms sustainable forest management approach so we may use forest without abusing them develop new way of measuring forest for capital so that we know whether the situation is improving or worsening educate and awareness program must be conducted for conservation of forest resources strict implementation of law of force forest conservation act should be implemented reconcile conflict between environmentalist government officials and local community we have to make a better use of knowledge about forest and greatly explain this information we have to take the bold decision and develop new civil society institute to improve such governing activities regarding forest usage we have to increase the involvement of local people for example chipko movement happened in 1731 when a village woman named amrita devi bishnoi she stood against for cutting to prevent trees from cutting down the movement was given this name because the village woman embraced or hugged the tree to stop them for being cut in 1972 in uttar pradesh the chipko movement was led by bachno devi of adwani who protect the hill forest from the contractors such type of activities motivate for conservation of forest resources for more reference you can read this book which is mentioned in front of your screen please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to attempt the quiz thank you so much